And you know, Ketoris Shechofna Kodim Shechitos Hashem Pari. Kini says that the Ketoris, the Chafina was done before Shechitos Hashem because we're speaking about things that are done. He says, according to Rabbi Yehuda, be big day love on only Lefnayu Lefnim, according to Rabbi Nechemia, even the Hechel. Where's the Chafina done? It's done in neither. Right? It's done. It's done in the base of Tina, so wherever it is. Amachem Ketoris Shechofna Kodim Shechitos Hashem Pari Lo Asav Lo Klum. It's not a command. So why is it not valid? So since even though it's out of order, it should be it should be valid. And the verse says, "I feel them reviewed it." Serach pinim kipnim domi. That since the chafina is for lefnai v'lefnim, therefore we treat it. The halach of chuk applies. It has to follow the sequence. So therefore, it, since it's supposed to happen, it's it's like an afod lefnim. So therefore, if it's done before the power, it's out of order. Therefore, it's not valid. Okay, tenan. It says imach the Mishnah says imach logomer matonis shibifnim nishbach adam. Before he finishes the matonis within the kochi kadoshim, right? The blood spills out. What is it? Uh, he has to slaughter a new power, correct? And he has to start from the beginning of the of the hazos. Yovi damach yasu yasu b'tchilo mibifnim. It says he has to start all over. Right? He should have to do the chafin over again. Right? Because the chafin is done after what? After the shechit of the par. After the shechit and the kabbal of the par. And here, if we, if you have to start over again, that means the original shechit is par. It, it, no, it has no value. Right. So it's starting from square one. So if, that's, so if the chafin has to follow the par, the chafin that exists was before the first par. So why? If the misa yasu yachpo ni boile? And that's what it says. No problem. The mission is only addressing regarding the dam. It's true. Factually, you have to do the chafina over again. But the Mishnah is not speaking about the chafina. It's speaking about within the Abodas Adam, how do you have to deal with that? Do you continue from that point onward? Or do you stuff go all the way back to the beginning of what? Of the Abodas Adam, which is the Shita. And you have to do the chafina over again. Rashi, Victoris Lokamairi, Mi Vari Tzorchlak, Victoris Acheris. You have to start all, the whole the whole thing has to be done over again. Okay. Omar Ulo. Let's say he slaughters now the the sawyer before you sprinkle the blood lefnai lefnim, right? Before loss of the klum. Also, Tanan we learned in the Mishnah. Higdim damasoir ledamapar yazu v'yazu v'damasoir acha damapor. It says, if he what he sprinkled the damasoir before the damapar, he has to redo the damasoir after damapor. The miso yazu yishkami boile. He says here. He says here. If you went and slaughtered the soir before you sprinkled the blood, you have to. This the shchit is no good. So what does it say in the Mishnah? Only he has to do the Zerik over again. He has to have to do the Shechit over again. Here? Yeah? Well, Ula says, that. no. Ula says that if, let's say, you slaughter the par, you have right. the blood in the vessel. Right. You, didn't, you didn't sprinkle the blood, blood of the right. on the, towards the Oro. Right. And the person now goes and slaughters the, the Sori now. Right. It's, not a va- it's not valid. Because you're supposed to slaughter the Sori after the blood is sprinkled of the Nile of After you sprinkle the Holy of Holies. Right. So he slaughtered it too early. That's all the statement. Correct? The Mishnah says that if you went and you if you went and you sprinkled the Dama Sawyer before the Dama Par, right? So the halach is you have to read you, you sprinkle Dama Par, then you sprinkle the Dama of the Sawyer. Right. What do you mean? According to this, it's more than sprinkle Dama Sawyer. You have to you have yeah, to sl- slaughter a, a, a new Sawyer. Right. Right. So that answer is very simply. We're speaking about the. What he what, what he sprinkled first? We're not talking about the, the sprinkling of lefnai v'lefnim. This is the sprinkling t- towards the parochis, because so really the shechita of the soir is done when after the sprinkling of in the kachik kadoshim. So he sp- he slaughtered properly. He receives the blood. He sprinkles the blood now in the kachik kadoshim of the soir of the soir inside. Now what he's supposed to do afterwards? Now he's supposed to sprinkle the blood of the par right. on the outside. He went and sprinkled the blood. Of the soyer too early, the so he par. has to, before the par. So he sprinkles the dam of the par, and he does again the dam of the soyer. Mm. We're not talking about 
the matonos, the, the sprinkling of the lefnai wasn't done. That was done. So since it was done, so what, what are you supposed to do after that? You do the shkita of the sar. So the sar was done in the proper order. What wasn't done in the proper order? The sprinkling. So therefore, since the sprinkling wasn't right, you have to sprinkle it over again. No, 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 no. No, 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 because the part, because that we had earlier, that, that, that's the Mishnah. Right. Rav Ephes also says, when the Mishnah says that he has to do the sir over again, we're not talking about the sprinkling of the lefnai with lefnim, we're speaking about the hazos towards the paroches, which was done in the Hechel, in the covered sanctuary, not the spring of the Holy of Holies, okay? Right? Ton Rabbonon. It says, V'chipir es migdash HaKodesh, you will atone for the Migdash HaKodesh. What is that? That's referring to the sprinkling Lefnai V'Lefnim. Okay? Zer Lefnai V'Lefnim. Ol Moed Zehechel. That's the sprinkling which goes in the, on, on the Hechel. That's towards the towards the Parochas. Mizbeach mm-hmm. Mashmoch. Mizbeach, that's the sprinkling that's on the Mizbeach. Yechaper What's the chaper? Elu azores. That's referring to the azora. What's done the azora? Hakohanim. Kimashmon. This is the the kapar which kohanim need. Amakol. El Yisrael. Yichaper leviim. What does this mean? Hushu kulon kapar achas. We speak about a korban, which they all, for instance, Tumas Migshu Kadoshev. If a person, the, koi, the korban of the, of the, what's it called it? Of the Kohen Godel, his kor, his par, or his sir, what is that atoned for? Tumas Migshu, no, him and his family. That's right. all, the, the Kohanim and the Levim. Right? right? But we speak specifically Tumas Migshu Kadoshev. Inadvertently went into the base of Migdun, really, his <laughs> tummy inadvertently gave Kochim. Right? Mm-hmm. What is the Sar Nasim Yibifnim, which, 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 which is brought for Kalal Yisrael? That's also Tumas Vig Kadosha. What about the Sar Mishtaleach? The goat that's thrown down the mountainside. That atones for all Jews, everybody. Right? So that Kapora, we, everybody shares in that Korban. Okay? So it says, El Yisrael, Yichaper El Levim, Ushu Kulm Kapora Acha, Shkum Miskaprin. Besar mishtaleach, besar avelu. Regarding other sins other than tumas big shkodoshov, besar mishtaleach, all Jews are equal in that korban. Give rebuke. It's rebuke. Let's see Rashi. Rashi. Zelif naivet lefnim. Kiper v'dom alolu al tumash ira lefnaivet lefnim. Im nichvas odom shom v'tuma veibo yidia basof. I mean, he went initially. He knew he was tumma. He went in there. But he never realized that he was what? That it was Tommy initially. Avol Havo Yidia Betrilo, but let's say Avol Havo Yidia Betrilo, but he originally knew he was Tommy. That's Yidia Betrilo. Fini Mikroy Perkam Nishua, Shisor Zet Toler, Olei, Lohogin Mina Yisurin, Achivodov Yovi Ole Yoviet. When he eventually finds out again, then he'll bring the, his personal korban. Zehechel al Tumash Iro Behechel, Vimizbeach, Mashro, al Tumash Iro al Odom Mizbeach. A person, what does that mean? A person, a person went into the Hechol, not realizing he was Tommy. He knew he was Tommy, and he forgot he was Tommy. He went into the sanctuary, in the courtyard. And he stayed there long enough that he could have prostrated himself. Mm-hmm. That's the amount of time where he, that is the amount of time that you stay there to be in violation of entering into the sanctuary in the state of Tumor. Hushul Kulon. Bahai Yechapir Basra, the last one, it says Yechapir, we equate all, all Jews, all segments of Jews. Kohanim, Levim, Yisraelim, Yer, O Metumas Vigshu Doshov, E.F. Shalash Rosa. Because it's not, Shari Apar, Mechapir Ala Kohanim. Right? The par is for, that's Kohanim. That's the par which the Kohen Godel brings. Hasoya Nas Bifnim, Al Yisrael, that's Tumas Kedoshov, for, for Yisrael. O Beza Kapar Hushu, so what it says, the chaper, which means they're all equal. 
that when the Kohen Godel says his confession on the goat that's going to be thrown down the mountainside, no. this includes all segments of Jews. Kohanim Levim Yisraelim, Bishar Averos, regarding other verses, they cannot kosher, they violated Shabbos, whatever it is. Divre Rebuta, let's review this position. Okay, good. So this puzzle is addressing all different types of situations. The Tumas Bich Kadosha for the Kohen, for the Levi, for the Israel. And then we speak about one carbon which covers all of them, which is Sarmish Talech. Reb Shimon Omer, Geshem Shedam Asor and Nas Bifnim, Mechapal Yisrael, the Tumas Bich Kadosha. Okay? Kach Damapor, Mechapal Al Kohanim, the Tumas Bich Kadosha. That's okay. Oshem Shevidu, Shal Sarmish Talech, Mechapal Al Yisrael, Bishar Averos. Karvidui al par mechaper al kohen b'shar averos. You this? The vidui. So he does that. Before. No, two things. The question is the vidui that he says in the sermon shtaleir. Is that vidui for everybody? Or the kohen gadol says the vidui on both. Right. But which vidui does it bring about the kapara for for kohanim? Is it the vidui that he says on the par? Although the par itself is for what? It's for Tumas big shkadoshov, or is it? The vidui, which the Kohen says on the Sir Mishraleach, which is for everyone. Okay? Let's see Rashi. No, no, he's not saying the Sir Mishraleach is not for everybody. No, 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 no. He says no. He says, just as it's Tumas Mishraleach, Paris, Machab, Al Kohanim, and Tumas Mishraleach, Oshav, Shem Shavid, Sir Mishraleach, Al Yisrael, Bishar Averos, Kar Vidu, Shabar, Kohanim, Bishar Averos. The vidui, he's not saying the Korban. I don't think it's the korban, because, because he just said before it's tumas mikdash kadoshav. Let's take a look. So, so how, he, how does he have kapara from the par? But then, then it's difficult. So what does he say? No, but then, but then it doesn't read well. Shem says just as the dam of the source, which is done bifnim, is mechaper al yisrael betumas kadoshav. That's the par also for kohanim. Then he says, just as the vidu is mechaped the Israel, the vidu of Paris mechaped the Kohanim. But it, the jump does make sense. But it, then it's a jump already. He just finished saying the vidu of the par is mechaped to Tumas Mishkar So how does he all of a sudden jump? But it has no relevance. But it has no relevance to Shara Veros. He just finished saying the par is for Tumas Mishkar So if that's the case, what does the vidu for other Averos have to do with the par? Nothing. Seemingly has nothing to do with it. Right? So I thought I thought it was all going on the vidui, the vidui, the vidui of the par. But the actual sar b'shalech was mechaper for all of them. Let's see Rashi. What's that? Let's see Rashi. Ushem shavidim shall sar b'shalech mechaper yisrael b'shar averes kal vidu shall par mechaper al kohanim parchin or b'shivin halvadi hushvu. No, the he says, There's no vidui for that. That's that's the question. That's what he means. You're right. It's without vidui. The vidui that he says on the par just. The, the, the sword that's brought for the Jews that goes to the family, there's no video on that. But the Kohen does a video in his. So what's that video? Is that video to speak Shkodoshov? Or is that video for Shara Veros? And which would indicate the power also is Machap of Shara Veros for Kohanim. You hear? Again, everybody agrees the sword which is brought to the with the There's no video on that, on that sword. Right. Of course, it's, it's, it's that korban. It's mechab to mesim kadoshim. Right. So he says the same thing. Just as for the Israel, there's no vidu for to mesim kadoshim. There's no vidu to mesim kadoshim for the kohanim. Aye, but lemai factually, he does say vidu on the par. So what's he saying vidu for? Evidently, it must be for shara veros. It must be for other sins, shabbos, kashrus, whatever else may be. What for kohanim? For kohanim. Not, not, they have a strict assembly, don't they? Why do they have a strict assembly? No, there's Vito in the Sarmashtalech. 
No, no, no. On the Sora Bifnim. Sora Nas Bifnim, he says. Sora Nas Bifnim. That is no vidui. And what, so, so, so just as there's no vidui for Tumas Bikshkodosh, for the Sora that you sprinkle blood inside, so the, the, for Tumas Bikshkodosh, with the, the power effect, there's no vidui for that either. So I, but he says vidui. What is the value of the vidui? It must be for Sharaveros. So if it's Sharaveros, that means the corp par. In addition, for Mechaper, for Tumas Bikshkodosh, it's Mechaper for other Averos, for Kohanim. No, it's for everybody. No, it's for everybody. It's for the rest. Other than Tumah. Like See, according to Rabbi Yudah, the Paris is only Tumah for the Kohen, and the Saurus is unique only for the Tumah. Summer Shalech covers everything for Kohanim, Yisrael, everybody. That's Rabbi Yudah. Rabbi Shimon says, no. We find when the Saur that was done inside, which was worth for the, for the Jews, there was no vidui for Tumas Mitch the coin didn't say vidui to atone for the tomb of, of what was done inside the base of Megdush for the Jews. So why did why, there was no vidui? Where was the vidui said on the sword that was thrown down the mountainside? So what is vidui for? For averus which are unrelated to tomb of Megdush That's what you need vidui for. It's I, but we find vidui on the par. You find vidui on the par. So if the par is only limited to tomb of Megdush of why does the why does Klausha not need we do it for Tumas Mikdashov? Why does the coin need? So Rabbi Shimon, you know what the answer is? You don't need. So why is he saying vidui on the part of the coin, the coin godel? It's for Shara Veros that the power atones for, and the Sarbis Shalech has nothing to do with Kohanim. Yeah. Here, the bull was the wait. How do we know that? How do we know that? This is Rav Shimon saying. How, do I, how does he know that? How does he know that? Okay, now. Sar Mishtaleach, this goat that was thrown down the mountain, is not even a question. It atones for Klal Yisrael. No, 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 wait. No, he holds not. Rav Shimon says not. He says, how do I know not Kohanim? Because the, the carbon that was brought for the Jews, for Tumas Big Shkadoshev, where was that brought? That's called Sar Lashem. That was the goat that was brought Lashem. Blood was sprinkled, the Holy of Holies, Towards the parochas, all that. Okay. The Kohen Gadol didn't say a vidui on that. On that goat, he didn't say. Why not? For some reason, the Torah says, for Tumas Mikshkudoshev, there's no vidui. You don't need vidui for that. So, but he said vidui. So, what does he say vidui on the par? The par definitely comes for Tumas Mikshkudoshev, for the Kohanim. The bull comes definitely for Tuma. So, so, for the Kohanim. Only for the Kohanim. The Saurus for the Jews. So, now the question is. So why does he say Vido and the par? Seemingly, you don't need Vido, you don't need a verbal confession for Tumas and Kodosh, because you see by the Sawyer, there, there was no Vido. So why is he saying Vido? Evidently, the Vido is because the par, in addition, for Tumas and Kodosh, it also atones for the Quran for other sins. So the Vido is for the other sins, not for Tumas and Kodosh. Just as the Vido is on the Sar Mishnah Because you see, Yisrael doesn't need. <coughs> no, it's for Achilo. What are you talking about? Same thing. The Jew eats kachim. The Jew walks into the Azar with. It's the same Yisr. They're in violation of the same Yisr. It's not a different Yisr. No other issues. Not other issues. Not no other issues. The issue is t- safety, but it's same applies. Place, we don't differentiate in that area. On a personal level, whether you're a Kohen or not, you have to bring a Kohen all of your aid. Right? Person is aware he was Kanam, t- forgets, then he realizes late. He has to bring the personal carbon, whether you're a Kohen, Levi Yisrael. We don't, there's no differentiation. Right? We don't, we don't, make, we don't differentiate between who you are. Now we're talking about the carbon of Yom Kippur. <laughs> we see for Tumas and Gordoshev, they're, they're kept separate. As for Tumas and Kodoshim, they're separate. So for Ava, other Averis, they're separate. Right? I mean, it's, it's not a question. Well, Rebutus says no. Rebutus says no. The Vidui on the par was for what? For Tumas and Kodoshim. And Sawyer, that was for everybody. Everybody said there were no Kodoshim. There were any distinction that uh, Sawyer, everybody gets. Correct. It. Except for Tumas and Kodoshim. Right. So now that, so that's the question on the first one. 
on the first one, on, on, on the, the bull. Oh, the bull. Right. right. The bull is only, according to, according to Rabbi Yehuda, is only yeah, Tumas Vik yeah, Okay, let's get back to the Gemara here. Turn around, Bonin. The Chidah Mechaber Sakodesh. He completes the Kapora of the Kodesh. Zed Lefnai V'Lefnim. Ol Moed Zehicho. Mizbeach Kimashmo. Malami Shikula Kapora Kapora B'Fnei Atzmon. So we speak about each segment. This is the Mishnah. Remember we said that if a person goes and the blood spills out in the middle of that segment, you have to go back to the beginning. Right. So we have the segment of Lefnai V'Lefnim. You have the segment of the Hecho. Right. And then you have what? Then you have Bachutz. Right. Okay? Mikan Omru. Nosim mixes Maton Shibifnim. Fin Nishpach Adam. He only did, did it sprinkle all seven. Before he completed the blunt spills out, Yovi Dam Acher, Vyasu Betchilo. You have to start, go back to square one. Rebbe Lazar of Shimon say in the Mishnah, no, that where do you continue? You continue from where you left off. Ain't a maskil, El Moksheh Posak. Where do you, you don't go back to the beginning, but wherever it stopped, you continue from that point onward. Gomer Mishnah Matona Shibifnim, Vinishprad Daam. If he finished the Matonos, the sprinkling of Bifnim. And the blood spills out. No, 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 no. No, he slaughters another. He slaughters another one. Now he starts off from the hechol. That's a new segment. What about the middle of sprinkling towards the parochas? The blood spills out. Again, this, that, again, this, this is the Tanakama consistent. What he said before, because you look at the segment. Rebbe Lozer Shem says no. Ain't a maskil. El mi moksha posak. What about gomer ba no ton she behechol nishmer adam? He finishes sprinkling all the sprinklers in the hechol towards the paroches on the mizbeach. Yovu dam acher v'yaschu b'tchilo b'matonish b'mizbeach. Right? B'matonish b'mizbeach. What we're talking about? He sprinkles on the four corners. This mizbeach. This is mizbeach hazov. Right? On the mizbeach hazov, four corners, then seven times on the top of the mizbeach. This is the Tirashomizbeach. No everything. What about everything was done on the Mizbeach? So all you have left is the Shirayim. To pour on the base of the outer Mizbeach in the courtyard. What happens if that spills out now? Do you slaughter the answer, you can, of course, you can't have shirayim. Shirayim means it's left over. Mm-hmm. It's left over from what, right? Everybody agrees, shvicha shirayim is not ma'akif. It's not like you, it happened in the middle of the avoda. Okay? Nishma adam divya kol lo ma'akfi. What's the machlokas? I mean, according to the same pasuk. According to Tanakama, if the segment is interrupted, you go back to the beginning. Rabbi Lozer Shim would say no. From that point, wherever you stopped, you continue from that point. But what's the basis for the machlokas? Rabbi Yochanan, Om Rabbi Yochanan, Shnei Mikrecho Doshu. They both in, they were arguing how to interpret a pasuk. It says in the pasuk, Midam achat Midam Chatos Akipurim Achas Bishono. From the blood of the Chatos of of Yom Kippur, Achas Bishono once a year. Remeir, where is it? Yeah, yeah. Remeir sova chatos achas o martiloch shtei chatos. That's Tanakamah. No, which means if you say that you don't, if you say you have to go back to the beginning, that means the first sprinkling was nothing. Right. Has no value. Because right. Torah says you, you do one sprinkling, one set, not two. Right. But if you're able to, it comes from two animals. So it's coming from what? From two different chatos. So therefore, Remeir says, therefore the first sprinkling has no value unless you completed it. Because right. it says, Kapora achas bishona, chatos achas sumar lo shtei chatos. He have two porim, right? Or you have two sirim. Rav Lozer Shimon Sov no chitui echad amart lo shnei chitui. No, which means you have to do one sprinkling. It's not going on the chatos. It means one sprinkling. So so here, what do you do? So you go and you you complete it. So let's say you did three, and now you have to do another four. How many sprinklings? You did one set of sprinkling. You didn't do more than one set. Chitu means the sprinkling themselves. Even though it came from two animals, but how many sprinklings did you do? One set? So that's achas. The achas is going on the sprinkling. What? No, you're sprinkling that blood. That blood. What happens if the blood spilled out? You only did three, you were supposed to do seven. 
So I have to slaughter another animal. So when I, now, I, now I start sprinkling again. Do I start from the beginning? Or do I start from where I left off? That's my question. So Rabbi Lozer Shimon says, you start from where you left off. Why? Because when it's chatos, see, if you say the word chatos means the animal, right? So if that's the case, you brought two chatos. It says chatos achas. One. And it's a problem, because the Torah says achas. That's Rabbi Meir's interpretation. The achas is going on, on the korban. <coughs> you can only be one. But if you say that the second one completes it, how many chato, the sprinkles came from how many animals? From two chatos. But Torah says achas. Therefore, Rabbi Meir says no. Therefore, it, it's invalidated. The first chatos is not a valid chatos. So how many valid chatos do you have? One. That's the achas. Rabbi Lozim should say no. When the Torah says chatos, it says... The blood of the sprinkling. The blood. So how many sprinklings did you do? You did one set of sprinklings. So you did one. You just continue to complete the whole set. It's a question of how to explain, interpret the word chatos. Dama chatos. Or it was on the, the sprinkling. Or like, how would you say it's fancy? A dabbing. Okay? Okay. Tanya, Tanya, we learned the Bible. Omer Rebbe, Licholak Reb Yaakov Lugin. Okay, let's. Rashi says, "What's Lugin?" This is by Mitzora. Okay, Rashi, Licholak Reb Yaakov Lugin. Linosan Reb Yaakov Chiluk Belok Shemet Shal Mitzora. Mitzora, when he's part of his uh, purification, he has to bring a pint of oil. Okay, Shul Hushul Rat and Domim Shul Yom Kippurim. The you also have to sprinkle. The mitzora you have to sprinkle from the blood and, and the oil towards the the parochas. Okay. He says lo nechol reb meir reb loza reb shimi ba'avodos hachalukas what? Right. Shevas or shebifnim or matan ba'honos lo amidim mokshe posak v'shemu maskil. No, over there, everybody agrees. You go back to the you go back to the beginning. Right, right. Wait, the chesiv. Why? The chesiv log echot shemen. Right. So if you tell me that you let's say it spills out, so that means you're taking a second pint. So Torah says echot log echot shemen log echot marti loch lios hakapor v'lo shnei lugin. Right. The hosam who dikel midrash chitu echot marti loch avod hochel lekel meimochi there. You could say chitu yechod, but no, by what? Right. No, he says the hosam. No, the hosam who the equal the midrash chitu yechod matiyloch, I will hocho lekla me mahochi by mitzora. Right. So he said, let's get back to this. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tanya, Omer, Omer, Rebbe, Li Cholak, Reb Yaakov, Belugin, Velo, Velo, or Tanya, Nosem, Mixes, Maton, Shibifnim, Vinishbach, Halog, right? Yovi, Logacher, Viasch, Bitchil, Maton, Shibehecho. That's that's so that's Rebbeir. If if it spills out, he has to start all over again. Rebbe Lozim, Shimon, Omrim, Mimokshe, Posach, Humaschil. So you see the same thing. Is it going on the sprinkling? or Is it going on the, on the log? Because what does he do with the remainder of the oil that he has on his palm? He just puts it on the Matora's head. Right? Right? So you see over there, what do you do? Yeah, but, but you see the same achlokas. So what do you say? There's no argument there. You see, it's the same argument. Emily Shana Reb Yaakov Belogin. So what's his answer? One second. No shishem and shabakaf. I don't know. He didn't rosh. Li Shana Esar achlokas as Eshem Senu Belogin Shom Mitzora. He argues. No. Originally, we want to say there's no. 
Li Nazar of Yaakov, Chiluk Belok Shem Shal Mitzar Shelo Hushvu. So Li Cholak, we were explaining that it's different. Mitzar is different. Lo Shana. It's the same. Right, 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 right. It's the same. Emo Li Shana, Rabbi Yaakov Lugin. It's the same argument. As they argue by Chatos and Yom Kippur, same thing. Oma Mar. Yeah. I mean, the chval, you have to understand. I mean, it's the same word, right? It's, it says log echod. Log echod, because log, how do you interpret it? The, the argument is different. He the say, the words, different. Yeah, but, but here, I mean, but after everything said and done, I mean, how do you understand it? Here we say the chatos, is it the korban or is it the sprinkling? Log, the word log means the pint, the pint of oil. One pint, they're not two pints. You understand? Unless, of course, it's log echod. The echod is referring to how many times you spring. That, that's like log echod. In terms of what you do with it. Right. It's the pouring. The pouring of the log. The application of the log. Like the, but, but, but here we're saying better because we're saying the actual word chatos is chitu. Okay. <coughs> Second. Moses <coughs> asks a question because he quotes it. Martin Zvachim, the Rashi learns from Al Gemara. We, we conclude that if, let's say, the oil that he has on his palm, if he can't put it on the head of the mitzora, it's valid. Correct. So he quotes the Gemara in in, in Zvachim. Whether, according to Rabbi Yochanan Menuri, even if you don't put it on the head of the Mitzvah, it's not a problem. But according to Rabbi Kiva, he says, Lokiper. It's not a perfect Kapora. But it's okay. Rabbi Kiva says, Lokiper means he's not atoned. You have to start all over again. So he so he toasts his ass. It's not like Al Gemara. Al Gemara concludes, all the Tanoim, that there's no argument. Right? That's his Kasha. Kasha didn't say, Oh, look at Tanoim, the Hochi, the Hochi. Okay, whatever. Further. Omamar. Matonos Harosh Eimakos, right? Says the, the oil that he puts on the head of the Mitzorah, the coin has the oil on his palm. He puts, let's say he doesn't do that, it's not Makif. He's fully atoned. The Mitzorah is atoned. My time of. What's the reason? I mean, the others we say, if it spills out, it's the Machlokas. You have to get another pint to be able to show. But here, but the oil that's left on his palm, if something happens to it, it's not a problem. So the question is why? My time. Elim should the chivan nosim in Hashem, and it says what's left of the oil. Yeah. So what does that mean? Hanoser means so it, it's it's shirayim. So I mean, no, 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 not because it's not the. Sh- He says, "We shouldn't have said a noisim neshemen." The kori lu shiraim, because it's referred to as shiraim. It's like what's left. Yeah, similar. El miata vanosoros min amincho, hochanam elu maakvi. Yeah. What that's by what? Homa mar shiraim shechosim in kmitzlak Torah. What happens? You do the Kamitsa. We had this earlier. You do the Kamitsa, right? So now what do you do? The Kamitsa you, 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 you burn, and the Kohanim eat what's left. What happens before you had a chance to put the Kometz on the Mizbeach? 
the what was left over, some of it was w w became got lost. Mm -hmm. The halachas you can't do it. If the shirayim was choser between the kmitz and the aktora, you can't you can't be mocked. You can't sacrifice the kmitz, the comets, the palm full of flour. But it says I. It's referred to as anosar. It says it's it's referred. It's left over. So if it's left over, it's left over. I say I don't, the questions. Uh, I don't hear the question too strongly. There. It's before you did the Aktora. Mm -hmm. You understand? Here we're talking about everything was done except what's left in his palm. You understand? So here the connotation also means this is left over. There it's only considered left over when you, when you sacrifice the comet. Right. Okay? So he says, I am Yelha no Shabin Mintra Ochanamid Lomak Shani Hos Nersib Umi Yeser. Umi Yeser Van Noser. So what's like a reiteration? Matmadus Bukruy and Shiraim, the Chsibu, Umiyeser Hashem is. Umatoris Rosh Kruyan, Shiore Shiraim. Yeah, this. That's the reason. This is like the leftover of the leftover. You see, some of us are leftovers. There's leftovers. We've even been eating leftovers for three days. This is the fourth day. This is the leftover of the leftover of the leftover. The oil on the palm, which is put on his head, it's the leftover that was left over from the oil that was put on his thumbs. So because it's, it's, it's expressed in such an uh, unimportant lack of value, that's the reason why it's not Makif. Okay? Because he says, Umatonis HaRosh Kriyin, right? Matonis Mos Kriyin Shirayim. The oil that's put on his, on his thumbs, that's called Shirayim. The Chsibu Mieser Hashem, and you put on his thumbs. And what's left over of that, you put on his head. The Chsibu Adnois Mishrayim Rishonim Yeser Al HaRosh HaMetayr. Om Rav Yochanan. So you learn from here, you serve leftovers how many days? Just one day. Monday, it's, it's not acceptable. Om Rav Yochanan. Okay, now. What happens once Lord is a chata shlodishma? Right? It's an orphan. It's not valid. Right? But a shlomim shlodishma, it's valid. Shlomim and all the shlodishma, it's valid. A Pesach Shlod is not valid. Right? It's a Mishnah. What if now we're talking about an Oshem? An Oshem of a Mitzvah that's Lord Shlod Shmo. Bornal Machos Rameir Rab Los Rab Shimin. It's a Machlokus. Rameir Doma Yovi Acher Viyaschu Bitchilo. Hochenami Yovi Acher Vishchot. You this? This is Rabbi Yochanan speaking. Just as over here, there he says, you bring another one, it's Gvaldic. Now, everybody agrees. Everybody agrees. Let's talk. What's the halacha? A person has an obligation to bring an Ola Shlomim, and he brings a Shlom Bishma. It's valid, but he has to bring another one to fulfill his obligations. It's Eino Ola Bayin Mashum Chova. But, oh, right? It's in the Dovah. It's, but you have an obligation to bring an Ola, a Shlomim. You say, I will bring in a Shlomim. And then the Kohen slaughters the Shlomim for some other Korban. It's kosher, I mean, you could eat it, or it's sacrificed, but the obligation hasn't yet been fulfilled. So it comes out, so, so it comes out for that obligation, how many olas are you bringing? You bring two olas, it's okay, you can bring as many as you want. An oshim, you can only bring one oshim, correct? You can only bring one. If a person is not a material, he wants to bring a, a guilt offering, you just can't bring a guilt offering. You can't bring a chatos if you're not obligated to bring a chatos, correct? And only bring as many as you want. But over here, Reb Meir says that what? He says, Reb Meir says, Yovi Achav Yaschel B'tchilo. Reb says, you have to go back to square one. So what does that mean, you have to go back to square Why? Because it says one and not two. Right? That's what he says, you go back to square one. That means when you bring, the Mitzorah brings an, a thing that's called Asha Mitzorah. How many could exist? Only one. So if that's the case, the first one must not be valid. Correct? Because it's valid. How many how many oshims do you bring that are called oshim mitzora for the same person? Two. There's no such thing as two. Therefore, the first one must be not valid. No, it's not valid. no it can't be valid as an oshim. We have a concept. No, you can, a carbon. Even though you not you don't fulfill your obligation, it's still valid. You don't take it to burn it in in, in the ash heap, right? But it can be brought. You sacrifice its its, its limbs and its fats on the mizbeach. But contra may can't be. Because if you can say it's valid, how many Asher Mitzvahs do you bring for the same individual? 
Two. You two. But Rabbi says there's no such thing. There's only one. So if there's only one, what is the status of the first one? It must not be valid. Because otherwise you have two. No, you can't. No, we're proving from his halacha that just as you have to start if it spills out, you have to start from square one. Of course, you can't bring more than one, right? That's Rebbe's rationale. So you can't have more than one ashram. So that means either it, 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 it works or it doesn't work. There's no halfway. You, like, what happens to the carbon that comes to me? You take it out to the ash heap, you burn it, finished. Right? You don't officiate with it. No, the second law, Corbin, would be, according to that, the first one's not valid? No, so that's the next, no, 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 no problem, we didn't get there. But, no, you bring it, you officiate, then you bring another one. First one he's not Yotsu with, but it's called the Usher Mitzorah of this individual. It's the Usher Mitzorah of this individual that did not cover his obligation. The one that he does, Usher Mitzorah, also, the, uh, the guilt offering of the Mitzorah, that he does cover his obligation. But according to the other man, the other there's no problem, that's the argument. Right? Are we concerned of what is the two going on? Is it going on the korban or is it going on the applications? Right? Rebbeir, Oma Yobi Yachu Yaschel Acher, Yaschel Betchilo, Hochanami Yobi Yachu Yaschel, Reb Lozer, Reb Shimin, Reb Lozer, Reb Shimin, Shomrim, Moku Shabbosim, Moshom, Mamaschel, Hochan Emil, even though you know that they're not comparable. You know they're not comparable. Not comparable. It's like seeing them like day and night over here. Over there, when it says Oshem Echod, what does Oshem Echod mean? Is it going on the animal? Or is it going on the application? Right? But over there, what the first one was had value. It had, it had, no, it had value. Whatever I did of it, if the first one's brought Shalom the Shmo, what's its value? Regarding the Mitzvah, it has no value. Whoever heard of an Oshem of Mitzvah, it has no value. Instead, what? No, but, no, you got it. Rebeir is saying, let's say you sprinkle some of the blood and you didn't finish the blood. Rebeir says, you got to start over. Right? That's no value. Right? Rebeir is easy. I'm talking about Rebeir is easy. I'm talking about Rebeir is easy. They have a problem. They're not comparable. Right. It doesn't. Right. It's not you continuing. The first is nothing. Right? So we'll say, Masul Rav Chizda Vosoksiv he says, by, by, by Osham, it says, Oso, it, this Oso clearly is referring to the animal. Echot could be the application. Oso, it, it is, is going on the animal, the Osham. But what did it say, like what we said, according to Rebbe Lozor of Shimon? That's Tosus Kasher, Tosus Kasher. Toma Harivo. The Rivo is like taken aback. Right? According to Rabbi Lazar Shimon, before the sprinklings have value. So we're continuing. But over here, what value does it have? It has no value. So, that's his question. Oshem Mitzora, he changes the gears to go to this. Shenishva Rudomo, Kodem Matan Bahonos. That's the Machlokas. Bono Machlokas Rebbeir, Rebbe Lozer, Rebbe Shimon. The Otomi Atar Shenishva Rudomo, Kodem Gvaran Matanos. The Mashlum the Kehch the Pligi Matanos Shemim. Look, Siv Oso, Ochanami Pligi Matan Dam Oshem. Avgav the Chsiv Oso. The Mashlum Echod. On that the Bar says no. Oso is it, it says Oso. Okay, it's good. He's learning it's a whole different shot. It's not that he slaughtered Shlul the Shmo. It was Nishma Chadam. It has no relevance to us, right? That's the, that's what we're asking. The Rivo asks our question. No, no, no. Rabbi Lazar Shimon would agree it's no good. Rabbi definitely says it's no good. No, 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 no. According to Rabbi Lazar Shimon, no, Rabbi Fish. No, so that's the kasha. That's the kasha. Like according to Rebbe Lozer Rebbe Shimon, according to Rebbe Lozer Rebbe Shimon, it's good. So that he says, even they definitely can't say it's good. One, because it's also. Right? That's why it can't be good. It says also. One, not two. 
And that's definitely referring to the Korban. But the Rivaz is it, You can't compare them. Right? If it's Lor Labal Mishem Chovu, what's the value? It has no value whatsoever. So therefore, he changes the gear. It's not Shoch to Shalul It was Nishpach Doma. On that, the Mar says, even nevertheless, it says Oso. Right? It says Oso. You can't compare the. The, the oil to the blood that spills out. You got it? Very good. L- let's, let's, let's understand. When the oil spills out, it doesn't fill it. We have Machlosh Rameh and, and, and Reb Loza. Could you continue from that spot or you go back to the beginning? Because it says Log Echod. By, by the spring of the blood, which you do more than on the Mizbech, you have to do towards the Paroches, there it says Oso. Oh, so the question is, what does Oso mean? Do we equate the blood to the oil? Don't we equate the blood to the oil? Rabbi Yochan wanted to say we don't equate the blood to the oil. We, we equate one to the other. Just as the oil is not a problem, so on that there was, but it still says Oso. So it must Kasha. All right, good. So it's very good. It's being about, he, he slaughtered the animal, sprinkled the blood on the, on the Mizbeach. Now, in the middle of that, well, it spills out before he has a chance to put the blood on his thumbs, before he has a chance to sprinkle the blood. At that point, what does he do? He has to, he has to slaughter another Russia. And he has to continue. Does he continue or does he go back to square one? Ramirez says he goes back to square one. Rabbi Yochan says, according to Rabbi Yochan, you don't go back to no, square one. You equate the blood to the oil. And that Tamar says, Rabbi Yochan, you can't be right. Because it says also. Regarding the blood, it says also. By the oil, it doesn't say also. Also means it. Oh, it is singular. Oh. Log echod, you could say echod means the application. But oso is definitely referring to what? To the one, one carbon. Therefore, Rabbi Yochanan, what you're saying is incorrect. That's how the Rivo is learning. He changes the gear, so. It's good. Tanya comes to Rabbi Yochanan. Even though the Gemara is the question, but we have a Bryce's voice, Rabbi Yochanan. Asha mitzora sheshachto shlodeshmo. Yeah? Who slaughtered shlodeshmo. I don't know how Rashi, how Rashi deals with Tosas Kasha. Oh, she domo, mi domo the gabi behonos. You see, the second case is good, right? Either shlor shlor shmo or the blood. He didn't have the, there was no blood to put on his thumbs. Hareza oda the gabi mizbeach v'ton nisochin v'ton oshem achel lachshiro. You bring it and you as a normal carbon, but you got to bring another one. Yeah, it says v'tzor oshem achel lachshiro, and you need another carbon to validate it. So this is so this is good. So this is good according to Rabbi Yochanan. According to who would we attribute this to? We would attribute this to Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Shimon. Right? What's the Tzorach? Tzorach is not the Oma Loch. Oma means Tzorach. <coughs> what? Yeah, but, what, but but you don't have blood for the first one. <coughs> so what? Do you, so why is the first one all the gabim zbeach? Saying two things which are contradictory. It says, what do you do with the first one? You bring it. On the no, his answer, no, we're proving, we're bring, we, sh- we just cited a Baraisa to score Rabbi Yochanan. First one's valid, and. Even, even, no, Rabbi Yochanan is He wants, even Rabbi Yochanan and Rabbi Shim would agree, ain't not that one. Right? So we say, no, we have a b'raisa, it's supposed to be open according to a blessing of Shimon, it would be valid. Why? Because it says explicitly that what? It's only Gabim's Zbech. Even though the blood spilled out, right? What? You bring it to the Mizbech. Yeah, but the Tzorach Ashmach and Lechshiros, that doesn't bother me. But according to Rav Chizda, how do you understand, well, how do you mock of it? If actually you have to bring another one, so what's going on over here? Rechiz Omav, my tzorch, tzorch, ve'en lo takona. What do you mean, lo takona? 
You know what I think it means? It means like this. Listen, we have two separate halachas. You have a chiv to bring in a nosha, right? The blood was sprinkled on the mizbeach. The ocean was brought. There's a separate aspect to it. But you have to be tired of the church. You be able to eat kochim. But to go into the base of Migdosh, this guy's lost forever. He's stuck. Since the first korban, you did this reek on the mizbeach. And the Torah says, oh so. So it was effective regarding the kapora. But to be metairim, that he should be able to go into the base of Migdosh, eat kochim, you, can, you can't. What are you supposed to do? The first one's valid. And the Torah says, oh so. That's the, that's, that's the meaning. He needs it, but we can't bring another one. Why? Because it says also. Oh, That's the pshat. You also hear it. It's gavaldik. See, normally by every korban, we're talking about only kapora. Right. By mitzvah, it's more than yeah, first he has kapora okay. and purification. Right. Applying the oil and the blood to his thumbs, that's purification. Right. So over here, if we already sprinkled the blood on the Mizbeach, and now the blood spills out, so I don't have enough blood to put on his thumbs. So what is bring another one? I can't bring another one, because it's oh, so you bring one. And the first one's valid, because he's, he's sprinkled on the Mizbeach already. So what, what, this guy's in the pickle over here. The Mitzor himself is stuck. He needs it. Ain't no Takona. You know, you know what the Takona is? He has to become a Mitzor again. No, no. If he becomes a leper again. Right. Yes, it's Vikal again. Then we'll start, or then hopefully, you know, he'll get pulled out. That'll bring an Osham. That new Osham, maybe we'll get him, straighten him out. It's like God says, you know, I don't want to see you. You'll have Kapur, but I don't want to see you. I don't want you walking into my sanctuary. I don't want you coming to my table to eat my food. The Tony Tony. And he said, "V'toni tano, sorch ve'in lo takona." He says, "So he, the Gemara asks, you mean the Tana uses that kind of expression? You need it, and it means ain't lo takona." Gemara says, "Ain yes, v'tanya, nozim emurod v'shamei omrim sorch havoras tar." You have a question? Let's see if a nozir, his hair fell out. So a nozir, what's part of his purification? He has to shave his hair with a, with a razor. He has no hair. He's naturally you, Brenna, the guy, right? So what's the man? Right. The Shabbos doesn't make a difference. You run the razor over, over the area where he's supposed to have hair. He doesn't need it. What does it mean, Tzorich? Tzorich lo takono. He needs it, but the guy's in the fix. So this guy cannot bring his carbon and he's not able to what? He's not able to drink wine or contaminate. He's stuck, he's stuck in the state of Naziris for the rest of his life. So we, see, so we do use the term. The way Rav Avina is explaining the, the Mishnah, Beishamai, what does it mean? Tzorich Tavoris Tar. You need the, the move there with a razor. It doesn't mean just run the razor. He, he, he needs it and since he can't, he's stuck. He remains the Nazir. He never extricates himself from the state of the zeros. So partial shaving. No, there's no partial shaving. There's nothing to shave. Right, right. Yes, to shave his body too. No, no, that's bad body. We've got a nazir, a nazir, not a mitzora, right? A nazir. So Ravina says what? Bishami says sorech chavor star means he needs it. He needs it, and he's not able to do it. You know why? Because he has no hair. You know, what happens if the man had his, he, he had no thumb and no large finger on his toe, no large toe. So you're supposed to put the blood and the oil there. What, what do you do? It's not Enlo Boinyad Uboin Regel, Enlo Taro Lomis. This guy is stuck forever. Right? Because he has the services, you have to put the blood and the oil on his, on his thumb and on his large toe. Rabbi Lozomen, Nosen al Makomo Vyotse. You just put it on its location. Rabbi Shimon Omen, Nosen al Small Yotse. If you put it on the left, it's Yotse. Okay, we'll stop here.